paranormal believers of Reddit, what made you believe? Serious. Shortly after my mother died, I heard her call my name and I turned around and she was standing before me, smiling. Then she simply vanished. I've never hallucinated before or since. I have no mental problems, etc. So I feel like I have to at least entertain the possibility it was for real. When I was younger my mom used to invite random neighborhood children over for dinner and parties so they could eat. At my sister's birthday party everyone was outside getting ready to hit the piñata. My father noticed a girl sitting inside staring out the window at us. We have a large window beside front door. He told me to go inside and ask her to come out and join the party. I ran up the walkway, looking at her through the window as I went towards the door and then as soon as I passed through the doorway, losing sight of her for a few seconds. She was gone. My dad thought she had fallen. There's a couch in front of the window so he thought she fell on the couch. I looked around for her but couldn't find her so I told my dad. He helped me look for her but still nothing. No one else saw her except me and my dad. My mom said she didn't recall inviting any girls with our description of her. We forgot about it until some years later though I don't really know exactly how many. My dad and I were sitting in the living room watching TV. From my dad's armchair you can see into the kitchen a little bit. Me and my dad were talking about the show we were watching when he suddenly got quiet. He said my name and motioned for me to come over to Hi Monsieur he told me to look at the microwave. I saw that girl's reflection in the microwave, exactly the same as before. I ran into the kitchen and my dad followed but again no one was there. We were both pretty spooked so we went out for ice cream until my mom came home. I thought it was a neighborhood kid playing a prank on us the first time. But seeing her the second time unchanged in our kitchen many years later made me start believing in ghosts. Holy shit what the fuck. Personally never experienced anything, but I've heard some pretty strange stories that really can't be explained any other way. For instance, my dad's aunt is the crazy one because she has psychic abilities. For lack of a better word, my dad took my mom to meet her, and she asked my mom who's that standing behind you, and of course my mom thought it was my dad just sort of messing around. But she went on to say, no, it's a woman in a tracksuit, and my mom flipped. When she was a kid, she had a super strong relationship with her grandmother who died of a heart attack and my mom always talked about her visiting her in her dreams but when they buried my mom's grandmother they buried her in a tracksuit and my mom swears that she's never told anyone else what they buried her in so there'd be no way for my dad's aunt to know it's just things like that that can't really be explained and other weird things that happen i have never experienced a lot of paranormal things but when my sisters were young Three to five yo, they were in their room and they looked out the window and saw like a tall figure but it was black. All black, no face just black they had called my mother but by the time she got in their room it was gone. To this day we still have no idea what it could have been. My cat visiting me after his death. After ninth life? Yes after his ninth life grin. Experiences. My own and other people's. There are things nobody understands that happen. This is one of many stories. My grandma plus uncles bought a house together in 2008 because it was unbelievably cheap. Every man who was married or in a relationship who slept in a particular room in the house would wake up from the same nightmare. We later found out a woman who had been raped by her husband's married friends had hung herself. 30 years prior and the house had been going from owner to owner ever since. They, my family, did a bunch of purification rituals and finally ended up locking that room up for good. And that kept it okay for a while but three years later. My grandma also passed in the same house so nobody wanted to stay there anymore and they sold it. Again, for the same unbelievably low price they got it in the first place. 
I have many other stories that are just inexplicable if not for something supernatural or other dimensional. What was the nightmare? They would walk outside that house holding their so's hand. And just before they got out into the main street, this house was at the end of a dead-end street with three houses. A really pretty woman would walk out of the house at the other end of the little street. Then she would kind of seductively move her ass. Which according to my cousin, was the only ass he would describe as being as hot as his wife's. And the moment they looked, she would turn around real quick, showing a rotting face and charged towards the monsieur the moment their so turned to protect them or the moment the so asked her to leave him alone. They would wake up. One of my uncles woke up sputtering for air because she had started choking him in the dream before. My aunt told her to back off. Damn, that's creepy AF. Yep. Yeah. There are a few other instances of things like this that various of my family members went through. When my family and I moved into our new home things started to freak us out. We would hear people talking in other rooms and sometimes we would hear footsteps coming from the attic. I told my friends when they visited and they laughed at me. B. All of a sudden a lamp turned on and then off by itself. It was weird but we just thought the outlet or the lamp switch is broken. However, when I took a look I found out that the lamp wasn't even plugged in. Another day, my mom was in the living room and three windows and a couple glass stuff broke. Simultaneously all of a sudden and she heard voices in another room monsieur. I don't exactly believe, but I have seen my dog moving her head to look at the three same points back and forth as if there was something there. My cat often does the same thing. My room is quite small and when he lies on my bed at 11 p.m. it scares the heck out of me. Especially when alone at home. Dogs. And cats. Have much more acute hearing and sense of smell than we do. To us it looks like they're looking at nothing. But they're hearing a mouse or insect in the wall or whatever. Or they're just looking around randomly because they're weirdos. Seen ghosts. First night, playing Pokemon Go. Figure I do a quick lap around the neighborhood. As I was approaching a turn. A person appeared and ran straight for me. I went in a defensive stance. When I did the person turned and ran inhumanly fast and went into a dark portion between the houses. And disappeared. Even though this person was running at full speed. There was no sound. Didn't even appear he was experiencing resistance. Are you sure it wasn't a ghastly? Imagine at that point a Gengar appears in the Pokemon Go game. My grandma passed away, before she did she would text me every day she loved me, after she passed I threw all her belongings I wanted in my safe. Well the next day I wake up to a chime on my phone from Gramps, I love you, every day after for at least a week, I am freaking out, crying, people think I'm nuts, well they stopped. A month later I was going throughout her stuff and charged her phone, this prankster before she Past put a timed message on her phone, to text me every day at the same time. Not paranormal I know, but when I found this out dot the room began to smell like her. Perfume. And I knew she was there laughing at me for this incredibly dick move she pulled off. My child whom never seen her pointed her out in a photo and said that's grandma she said she loves. Us, again he is a dick and they probably messing with me together. I know she watches over me just the feeling I had when she was alive and that damn perfume she would put on. When I moved in with my boyfriend he told me there was a ghost man that had always followed him wherever he lived. I am a firm believer in the paranormal anyway, but it really didn't bother me after some reassurances that he was benevolent. Not long after moving in. Our roommate's girlfriend started staying over more often and this ghost hated her. If she'd use our bathroom the faucets would both turn on full blast this would always cause her to run out of the bathroom with her pants around her ankles. The ceiling fans would turn on by themselves. The TV would increase volume on its own. You had to unplug it to get it to stop. We replaced the TV. That one did the same thing. After a few months of weird shit happening, 
I awoke to the feeling of someone sitting at the foot of the bed. I felt the bed compress as though a real person had sat down. I jerked up and looked around and saw nothing but there was an imprint in our comforter where someone had sat. Several more weeks go by and finally the same thing happened again. Only this time there was a man there. Big hat. Trench coat. Looked like he was straight out of a western. After a few seconds he disappeared. I told my boyfriend about him and his response was oh good. He finally let you see him. After that it just became normal. He sat at the end of the bed most nights while I was pregnant and then after the baby was born he must have went in and sat with her. We would still catch glimpses of him here or there and you'd hear footsteps when home alone. We eventually broke up and I gotta say I miss the ghost way more than the boyfriend. I have seen a couple of strange things that just can't be explained coupled with other accounts from friends that I know have no reason to lie or embellish their stories. Too many people have too many strange encounters for there to not be something going on we just don't understand yet. Having listened to and read so many accounts and theories, my own logic sways me towards the theory of parallel dimensions. You didn't answer the question. What experiences? When I was young, seven or eight, I saw a black shadow person in my childhood home walking up and down the hallway. It disappeared when my mom turned on a light in the kitchen and reappeared when she went back to her room is here. I've seen two white figures in my room, one in my childhood home as a child and one as an adult in the last house I owned. One looked like an old man and one like a young woman both faded within seconds of seeing the monsieur. Also in the backyard of the last house I owned, I saw a circular UFO with flashing multi-colored lights all around the outside of it. My ex-husband saw it too and neither of us could figure out what it was. We are both military and neither of us had ever seen anything like it. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.